the seminar with the topic 2023 general election the use of electoral act 2022 as a guide for capacity building and effective reporting brought together selected journalists from all the media organizations in Akwaibo State. The State Resident Electoral Commissioner, Mike Guinea, while giving the overview of the 2022 Electoral Act, explained that the Commission submitted 91 amendments to the 2020 Act to the National Assembly, but they adopted 48 items which will strengthen the electoral system in Nigeria. He specifically explained that Section 47 has made it difficult for those intending to rig the 2023 general election because the lacuna which gives room to Reagan has been eliminated. He urged journalists to call the attention of the National Assembly to expunge Section 134 sub 2 to make the act more formidable. The things that have been put in place are to secure both the present and the future. Do you know that where we are going now? The winner of election should be determined finally and conclusively at the last point of collision, not in the court of law. He further cleared the speculations regarding the APC governorship primary and why the party does not have any candidate at the moment. A political party that breached the acts, in effect, that failed, anyone that didn't go through primaries shall not be included for that election. The chairman of NUJ, Amos Setik, commended the resident electoral commissioner for the seminar and assured him that the media is committed to the sustenance of democracy through accurate reportage. We see you not just as, a, as an activist, but someone who has always spoken truth to power, someone who has always asked for a level playing field, someone who has always canvassed for credibility in the electoral process. Inuyo, John Paul Alumon, anti -Ennis.